about a year ago, we were hanging out with some friends of ours and just kind of chatting, and the subject of this solar eclipse came up. And um, we were reflecting on the fact that it was that none of us had ever seen a solar eclipse, and uh, there was one that was coming rather close to home. And it was maybe an opportunity for us to see one that we wouldn't have repeated in our lifetimes. And so a year ago, we made this plan, this crazy plan, and decided to book a campground way ahead of time and um, just make this an item on our list of things that we were going to do in 2017 was to come up and watch the eclipse. So we did. We pulled it off. We, we planned and we executed. And um, in the middle of a crazy year where I've been traveling all over the place, almost nonstop, um, we decided to take take a family camping trip, towed our trailer up, and went to watch this solar eclipse. And um, as the event got closer and closer and closer, um, I started getting overwhelmed by the media hype about it. And, and my friends kept asking me, because I don't really love crowds, and our friends kept asking me, oh, are you gonna be okay? It's like, it's gonna be so crazy, there's gonna be so much traffic getting there and all of those things but really for us it worked out it worked out really good because we ended up choosing a location which was kind of in the middle of nowhere um, kind of farmville usa and there weren't a ton of crowds around and we went out exploring in the truck the day ahead of time and uh, just found a spot overlooking the sort of the fields and city that we were close to and where we were going to have a, a really good uh, visibility of the sun but we were also going to have uh, this cool bluff overlook looking down on the shadow of the valley. And so it all kind of worked out perfect. It w I have no complaints. We, we really kind of lucked out with how everything came together. And um, so in response to all my friends and all the people who asked me, is it worth it? Was it worth 15 hours of driving to get up there in the traffic and all the, the madness getting home and stuff? And to them, all I can say is watch this video for three minutes of our lives, we got to see the creation of an amazing creator revealed in all of its glory, in all of its just astounding, um, mesmerizing quality. We got to experience that for three minutes, and we all freaked out. We just lost our minds. It's <laughs> that's that's pretty much the only way I could describe it. Is we were so in awe that we lost our minds. We got like one minute till shadow too. You nice. see it? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, you can so see a couple cool. of them. 
real, real face. Oh, yeah, the bear. Oh, my gosh. You guys should see the crown flashing. Yeah, that's sick. Why is it acting so strangely? That is so cool. Because the moon's in front of the sun. It's blocking all our light. Oh, my gosh. This is awesome. Look at the view. It's the beautiful sunrise I've ever seen. So we made it home and uh, what was supposed to be an eight hour drive took us 12 hours and it was similar on the way up. What was supposed to be an eight hour drive took us 14 hours because of traffic and all the craziness. And um, But my takeaway that it was, is that those three minutes of totality, total eclipse were totally worth it. Um, I'd do it again a thousand times. It was amazing. It was worth every moment sitting in that truck, getting, our, getting ourselves there. So my recommendation is next time when uh, when an eclipse comes around and everybody says, oh, it's too much hype, it's not worth it, blah, blah, blah. Just get yourself in a car or a plane or a train or stick your thumb out on the side of the road. Get there, experience it firsthand. It's an unreal, unrelatable, unexplainable experience even seeing it on video does it no justice it's something that you should if you can experience in person um, I know for myself that I'm I'm a lifetime eclipse chaser now it's gonna be something that if I can make it I'm gonna make it to the next one thanks guys